Well, an improbable champion in baseball and history in the NFL. Our Julie Bueller has a breakdown of a busy day in sports. It was a remarkable win for the Kansas City Royals, and they're one of the least likely world champs in baseball history. And then on the gridiron, well, Peyton Manning tied Brett Favre for the most wins in NFL history, while his brother Eli, he made history as well, but lost. Here's what you need to know. The Kansas City Royals made the playoffs last year after suffering losing seasons through 18 of the previous 19 years. And now they're the world champs. The second championship in franchise history and the first in 30 years. Game one went 14 innings, but the Royals won it. They trailed in game four, but came back in the eighth inning to win. In fact, they trailed Sunday, game five, but they came back scoring two runs in the ninth, tying the game, and then the winning runs came in the 12th inning. The Royals beat the Mets four games to one in the 111th World Series. Now onto the gridiron. Halloween is over for the majority of America, but not for the black hole. Raider fans have reasons to celebrate. They beat the Jets 34-20, and if playoffs started today, Oakland would be in the postseason for the first time in more than a decade. Derek Carr was brilliant, throwing for 333 yards and four touchdowns, and Charles Woodson, he netted his league-leading fifth interception and now stands fifth all-time for his career. Very impressive win for the Raiders. And the St. Louis Rams enjoyed an impressive win as well at home against the 49ers. Now, although the Niners are just not good at football, this kid on the Rams, Todd Gurley, he's really good at football. Historically good. In fact, Gurley becomes the first player ever to net at least 125 rushing yards in his first four starts. The Rams cruise to a 27-6 victory. And the San Diego Chargers, they are now a head-scratching 2-6 on the season. Last year's win over the Ravens came down to a field goal and this year's game did as well, but this time the Ravens take the win, 29-26. And boy, I wish I could dance like that, but it's probably best that I can't. Plenty of history was made Sunday. The New Orleans Saints and New York Giants combined for 13 touchdowns in the 52-49 Saints win. That's the most touchdowns in any game in NFL history. And Drew Brees, well, he threw seven of those TDs, making him just the eighth man ever to do that. Congrats to anyone who had Brees or Eli Manning on their fantasy team. Now to a game that made fantasy players cringe. The Seattle Seahawks scored one touchdown and two field goals. But that'd be enough to beat the Dallas Cowboys 13-12 the final. And the Cincinnati Bengals moved to 7-0 for the first time in franchise history with a come-from-behind 16-10 win over a very tough Steelers team. And while I'll save the dance moves, I'd like to offer a big congrats to Palm Desert High's own DJ Alexander. His Chiefs beat the Lions in London. Meanwhile, the Cardinals, Vikings, Texans, and Bucks also earned wins. Back to you. Thanks for those highlights, Julie. Now in the spirit of Sunday Night Football competition, we want to give you a chance to win a $50 gift certificate. Go to our website, KMIR.com. Click on the postal link. There you'll find Beat Bueller's Picks. Vote each week 